Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. What's going on Central New York? As expected, it got a little icy through the evening, but we are in the process of seeing this changeover occur now uh, as we have some warmer air uh, that is uh, returning and, and moving in tonight. So if you have any leftover uh, wintry mix, it will be going by the wayside quickly. So we take a look at the current temperature now, and we're actually starting to see this number go up. So 35, that trend will continue tonight, courtesy of a southeast and southeasterly wind, which is pretty gusty at 13 uh, miles an hour. So we take a look at the winter weather advisory that continues for parts of the area here. So Oneida County is included up to the north country, uh, still some uh, spotty freezing rain and uh, some sleet and snow. That is in the forecast as we go through the overnight here, but uh, uh, with time, we're going to see this change over to uh, just rain as uh, temperatures will be uh, on the rise. And then through the day tomorrow, you know, big travel day. And I think for the most part, heading out on the roads uh, should be fine. Just some rain left over in the morning, tapering to sprinkles, quite a bit of clouds. Temperatures in the mid 40s through the day tomorrow. So you can see on uh, radar here that uh, we've actually started to see some of this kind of break up uh, as we make our way through the late evening here. We go in really tight. Uh, this is downtown Utica. That's Genesee Street right there, Burstone Road. And you can see most of this is rain downtown. But like I mentioned, there are still a few areas kind of hanging on to a little bit of that wintry mix. So Remsen, uh, up into parts of Herkimer County, anywhere you see this pink shade, but you get towards Dodgeville and Little Falls and uh, down towards Herkimer. We're talking about mainly rain and also down into Otsego County uh, as well. By the way, what you're seeing down here, Norwich through Unadilla, Sydney, Oneonta, Davenport, some very heavy rain there, maybe a little sleet in there as well, but that is actually in response to a coastal storm that's developing, but it will be moving away and really not much of an impact for us. These numbers will continue to go up as we go through the overnight. So look at into Otsego County now, where I was just talking about that rain stretching across the southern part of the county. We're already in the upper 30s, uh, low 30s into the Adirondacks as some warmer air is coming in at cloud level and also down here at the surface. So that will continue to change uh, the rain or the freezing rain and snow over to just regular rain through the rest of the overnight. So you'll see that process on future casts. By tomorrow morning, it's just a leftover rain shower. That should taper to some sprinkles. And there's quite a bit of clouds around tomorrow, but overall travel weather should be fine. Temperatures into the mid-40s. Then we look ahead to Thanksgiving, and I think uh, you're going to love it. Mixture of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures very pleasant. Yeah, a little breezy, but highs will be in the mid-40s. It is gusty out there this evening and overnight, but with time, wind speeds will start to kind of ease off the pedal here. Could be a little breezy uh, into tomorrow morning uh, before the winds slowly start to taper. So tomorrow we're in the mid-40s, quite a few clouds around. Uh, down to the south, leftover rain showers in the morning into Otsego County will taper. Highs will be in the mid-upper 40s in Oneonta and then up north. Uh, temperatures here will be upper 30s to right around 40. Any leftover rain will uh, taper with uh, quite a few clouds into the afternoon. Let's fast forward and uh, talk about Thanksgiving. Looks good, uh, partly sunny, very pleasant for the holiday. Temperature right around 45. Here's your seven-day forecast. So any leftover sleet or freezing rain or snow going over to rain tonight, tapering on Wednesday. We just talked about Thanksgiving, very nice for the holiday. Black Friday's colder, a couple of lake effect snow showers and flurries of little consequence. Chilly Saturday, not quite as cold Sunday. Clouds increase in advance of the next storm system. Cold front comes through Monday with some light rain or wet snow, and then could be some lake effect snow or squalls uh, up north as some colder air arrives by next Tuesday. All right, well, Craig, maybe squalls, not what some of us, me included, wanted to hear, but good news. Thanksgiving is going to look good, and this icy, messy right. stuff is going to be done with by tomorrow. Right, so uh, I think if uh, you have plans to, to hit the road tomorrow, it should be fine. All right, Craig, thank yeah. you. Next, after this break, another Utica man making a plea in court today for his role in a shooting in Saratoga Springs last November. Guilty or not guilty, you'll find out when we come back. 